What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds DLC video here on the channel. This one, as you can see right in front of you, is on the murder of Eridanos. So I want to apologize really quick in advance because I cannot pronounce Eridanos for the life of me. I have to really focus on pronouncing it properly for me to be able to say it properly. So if I butcher it throughout the series, don't write some hateful stuff in the comments or anything like that because I just can't pronounce it. For some strange reason, I can't pronounce that word. So there's that quick disclaimer in advance. Initially, I wanted to play this on PC via Xbox through PC. For some reason, it's different than the Xbox on console, but for some strange reason, it just wasn't popping up on the PC interface. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play it on PC, which is kind of frustrating because I really, really wanted to play it on there since I get a hell of a lot better performance through the PC of course than the Series X but there's that um, it, it is not to say anything bad about the Series X of course because the Series X is still a great console I absolutely love mine I absolutely enjoy mine wholeheartedly I just get better fidelity on my uh, PC surprise surprise right so there's that either way I'm very 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 excited to get started on the murder of Eridanos uh, DLC here on the channel. So if you're excited for this DLC, let's play. Do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's jump right into this. Okay, so we are on the Unreliable. Hi, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Is, is that the start of the DLC? Hold on, what is this? Uh, Hope Docking Bay. All right, so that's definitely a... Yep, okay. So we already have it. The murder of Eridanos. Uh, Ada has a new Aetherwave drama ready to watch. Watch the Aetherwave. Uh, Ada has the latest Halcyon Helen Aetherwave ready to watch. Speak with her when you're ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Why, sure. Hey, Ada. Well, Long time no see. Captain. How can I be of assistance? Well, uh, first of all, you mentioned an Aetherwave drama? I'd like to see it, as a matter of fact. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. It was the law for sake of Paris. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the Brain Eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Hey, that's the guy on the video. Mission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. 
But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Uh, so I am playing on my dumb character as we did last time. So fun fact, uh, in the last DLC, the Peril on Gorgon, I didn't realize this until it was too late till, the, till literally the end of the series or whatever. I was playing it on story because I initially ended up going through, uh, I created that character just so that I could do the dumb ending so I could unlock the achievement. Uh, because I literally 100% this game, so I kind of wanted to speed run through it, and of course the story was the best way to do that. So in this one, I put it back on uh, normal settings or whatever. So there's that. But I am playing on my dumb character again because I had an absolute blast doing it on my last let's play. So we're gonna be doing it again here in this one for this DLC, of course, with higher settings. So it should be a little bit better as far as difficulty goes, and I shouldn't be, you know, one-shotting everything, but we'll see when we get to that situation. But for now, let's see. Uh, dumb. Boring. Ada, let's watch something else. Ah, yes, <laughs> they warned me about this. This is not an Aetherwave serial. This is a transmission. I am Administrator Ludov... Never mind. Let's just get to that. <laughs> Halcyon Helen is dead, murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. Uh-oh. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. This guy already looks shady, to be honest. I, I, I don't know what it is, but something about him seems a little off. But anyways, let's see. Halcyon Helen dead? Oh, no. The Chief of Savages finally got her. Is this a <laughs> This is the freelancer we're trying to hire. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me Who's this guy? This. Captain Hawthorne. I've been looking forward to meeting Adjutant Akande's favorite gun. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Me too. Uh... I'm having a little trouble seeing how the death of a two-bit actor, such as, uh, you know, such as uh, Halcyon Helen, is a so-called assault on the colony. Care to elaborate on that? Two-bit actor. Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals, Duchess of Dramaturgy. <laughs> you would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric. Could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? They you want both to look shady. You me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. They... they legit... They both look shady. I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, insult them. But, look. Can we just get back to the point here, please? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Who are you? Honest to law, how hard is it to hire a freelancer? It's Commander Keen. <laughs> Apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was inappropriate of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keen. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier... You are Adjutant Akande's most reliable freelancer. If the second most powerful person in Halcyon can depend on you, then I'd like to think we can depend on you. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. <laughs> inspector Duh! I like the sound of that. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. 
And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Gasp! Uh, let me see. Yeah, Hel uh, Helen must have been pretty popular if her death could put an end to your operations. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. Entertainment. No one has ever been as well known or as well loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. Courageous business leaders, she said. Okay then, we'll just we'll just leave it at that then. Uh, you seem competent. You could have dealt with all of this yourself, though. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the administrator is politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. I mean, I suppose, uh, you sound a little bit worn out, though. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the oh-so-reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? I don't- I don't want to be offensive, so this is definitely not what I'm gonna say. Uh... Yeah, they're not very likable, are they? Your words, not mine. Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. She doesn't seem that shady. I think out of the three, so far she's got points just because she seems not as shady. But of course, I could be completely wrong. Maybe she's the one that killed uh, Halcyon Helen. I don't know. We'll find out here later on. Uh, yeah, they seem to have some issues. The administrator oversees Rizzo's operations. Cedric runs the hotel and the spaceport. They're always at each other's throats. My I can life tell. would be so much easier if they'd simply learn to work together. You know, it, it kind of, so far it kind of reminds me of the whole situation on Monarch. Uh, between the Iconoclast and the, uh, uh, the, uh, MSI? I don't know. Let me see. Maybe we can bring them together. Maybe that's like the, well, not with this character. This guy, <laughs> he's pretty dumb. Let me see. Relax. There's nothing I can't handle. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Well, I hope you use the word competent very loosely since my intelligence level is uh not very stellar, so to speak. But anyways, all right, I've got everything I need. See you later. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Cool. Uh I don't know why they're trusting me to catch uh, Halcyon Helen's killer. That's actually very true. I'm literally a nobody, so why in the world are they choosing to, to have me do this? I don't know, I find it very awkward and very complicated. But okay, whatever, I don't know, yeah. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, Inebriation <laughs> and genuine faith in your abilities. <clears throat> I vote for inebriation. That seems the most likely here at this point. Possibly confusion, though. What can you tell me about Arid Eridanos? Eridanos. Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos Atmospheric Complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Potentially capable? So this is going to be a very harsh environment, it seems like. Uh, well, thanks, Ada. So I guess we're traveling to Eridanos. 
So I changed the sensitivity to my controller, so it might take me a, a tad bit to get used to uh, the sensitivity. But I did want higher sensitivity, man, because playing on controller can be pretty brutal. Thank you, Ada. I can't remember. Is this guy... Uh, let's go with a two-hand weapon. Also, I don't want a science weapon. Let's see if I have... Do I have anything, though? I guess we'll probably stay with this. What's my damage to this? 450. Dude, this one-handed weapon is stronger than the other than the other two. Alright, let me see what is in my box. I literally have nothing. I think I'll take my hammer of Olympus back. And let's get that out of there. Well, I'll keep the pistol. Yeah, number two is fine. And then we'll put this back in here. And we'll put it all back. Or we'll put this back. I'll just put that in there too. Screw it. Let's go. Should I take... I really need to repair all of my stuff, don't I? I have like a lot of stuff to prep for, don't I? Alright, whatever. What level is this weapon? Level 30. This is pretty high. And this is level 26. Let's see if we can tinker this up just a tad bit. If I even have money, I do have money. Uh, tinker. Uh, 26. Yeah, it's expensive. We'll go to 28. That's the only thing I could afford anyways. I kind of want to use the Hammer of Olympus because we're going to be going at this solo. Oh, I accidentally brought Vicar Max with me. Or maybe I should just use him. I don't know. Yeah, this looks like a harsh planet. Okay, that looks cool. So we got Vicar and Felix, I you know, suppose. We catch Helen's killer right this second. Maybe we ought to take in the sights. Maybe. You know, this looks really cool. Grand Colonial. That looks awesome. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight salvage and shipping underground, or slug, as we like to call ourselves, <laughs> is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Good to know, good to know. Uh, can you fill me in on the details of this murder? I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Oh, nice. The corpse wasn't in the best shape aside from that i don't know a whole lot helen was supposed to host the unveiling for rizzo's news product spectrum brown until you catch the killer the unveiling has been indefinitely postponed helen's death has been a shock for many a lot of people are inconsolable hell even black hole birdie helen's bow has wandered off some folks think he had something to do with the murder but i don't believe it hey Black Hole Birdie may be a savage brute on the Field of Honor, but he's no killer. How her do you know? were very upset by the weak plot contrivances in her latest offering, though that hardly seems a worthy motive. Folks get heated when it comes to Good serials point. and their actors, I suppose. Uh, was she a divisive figure? Not particularly, but I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. Good to know. Uh, I take it she made some bad choices. Actually, Helen didn't do anything like that. 
she was just so stellar in her roles and the public liked her so much that she got a following all on her own. She That's good. ended up about as famous and high rung as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the spectrum unveiling or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. Nice. So I thought you said you worked for Slug, though, not Rizzo's. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice, mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine <laughs> out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Good to know. Uh, bags? What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage. Belongings. Kit. Wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. <laughs> you're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Bingo! Uh... Of course I do. Are you telling me you don't? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, reckon I can respect your candor, even if it scares me a smidge. Anyhow, that scares I'll you? Look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. My dirtiness scares you? Strange. Yeah, even with all of this, the Hammer of Olympus is still better. I think we're going to use this. Hold on. Let me make sure that I still have the setting on that. Hold on. Where is it at? It should be. No, no. It's on gameplay. First of all, show companion helmets. That's coming off. There we go. Now it should give me my stats. So 1,673 versus 1,035. So yeah, that's... The, the science weapon is still the best one. Okay, so it looks like we got to go in this direction. Where are we going exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Hey, it's Sam's best friend. Thank you. Thanks, ma'am. I really appreciate it. You know that jacket? If it was brown instead of red, I think it would be like my favorite freaking like outfit period. Maybe not the hat, but still. I feel like I'm spending Ooh. a fortune just standing here. Ooh, yes. This looks cool. Okay, yeah. I like this. Let's take a look around real quick before we progress with the story. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love it. Hey, what am I stuck on? Okay, then. I'll just jump over it, then. Grand Colonial Hotel, here I come. It's a conde. I almost can't imagine someone wretched enough to do such a thing. You don't think a dissident could be here, do you? Get a hold of yourself. The administrator would never allow someone as dangerous as a dissident here. That's Sebastian. This is all just a terrible coincidence. Of course, of course, you are absolutely right. I think the idea of a psychopath wandering among us is just making me nervous. Okay. They're just randomly talking about everything. The Grand Colonial. Transition. Yep, let's get inside there. Rizzo Spectrum Brown. It actually kind of looks good, to be honest. Let's put our hammer away. We don't need it right now. So We're inside. Much opulence, while most of Halcyon suffers. Yep. Okay, these are just typical people. There's nobody I could talk to, huh? We just got some bellhops. These are all generic characters. I want to talk and see. Maybe I can get some side quests and stuff. Do I go in here? 
my inordinately esteemed guests. If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have a registered room key. If you've lost your key, why don't you pay the hotel concierge a visit? I'm sure she can get you a new one. Then you can come back, and I'll service all of your vertical needs. Okay then. Whoops. Uh, so this person should be over here, right? Eh? Hi, lady. Get, can you get out of my way, sir? I need to have a conversation with a lady. I'm sorry, sir, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspect. Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Yep, that'll be me. Uh, you would happen to have a room key, would you? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I, I, I don't yet, but I will, Inspector, sir. You'll be staying in our luxurious penthouse suite, vacated just recently. So recently that, unfortunately, the room's still being cleaned. I'm sure it'll be ready for you by the time you've examined the crime scene. I believe Constable King should be waiting for you in the Grand Ballroom. Good. Uh, didn't see him, uh, didn't see the Grand Ballroom on my way in. Oh, the ballroom's right behind the tower elevators. Swing a left or a right, then cut through the crowd of spectators. You can't miss it. Good to know. Thank you, ma'am. You were very helpful. So, Constable Keen at the back. What does it say? Yeah, the grand ballroom. Makes sense. Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. Rizzo's. That poor fellow must be inconsolable. No, they're all generic. Okay, let's go. There she is. Oh, thank the law. In person. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. Um, let me see. Constable Keen, nice to meet you. We spoke over the eighth uh, over the eighth wave. <laughs> Constable Maria Keen, it's good to meet you in person, Inspector. Doctor, good night. Ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on. Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's oh, I thought she was saying. I thought she was saying goodnight to me, but that's her name, Dr. Goodnight. <laughs> Let me see, I'm guessing you're talking about the body? What body? <laughs> that. Goodness, no. What? This is far more interesting than Halcyon Helen's rapidly cooling corpse. Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. <laughs> you make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. What does this thing do exactly? I'm so glad you asked. Allow me to explain. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of Magnification. And that's the long and short of it. Brilliant, don't you think? Yeah, uh... Huh? Sorry. I was thinking about food. <laughs> Just do us both a favor and give the amplifier a try. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but... I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. The discrepancy amplifier. Greetings, ins Inspector. Thanks uh, to the half ge half genius, uh, thanks to the half genius, half mad scientist mind of Doctor Goodnight, you've been granted the discrepancy amplifier, a handy investigation uh, investigation device for uncovering clues throughout area Arian Eridanos. I'm telling you, I can't pronounce that word for to, for the life of me. I I don't know why, but anyways, uh. Be sure to equip the discrepancy amplifier in a weapon slot before you continue your hunt in Helsin in uh, Helen's killer. Good to know. So let's put it in place of this. Oh, it's a it's a weapon. Hold on, let me see it real quick. Uh, discrepancy amplifier, 34 damage handguns. It only does seven, magazine size 15. Designed by Dr. Goodnight, the discrepancy amplifiers, uh, is this the same thing? No, it doesn't, this is different. Uh, is an inductive reasoning simulator. 
and compulsive de uh, compulsion device fine-tuned to pick up discrepancies in the Eridanos atmospheric complex. The device requires the strong magnetic fields of Eridanos uh, complex uh, and cannot function anywhere else in the colony. So this only works here. Good to know. So... Let's, uh... Where's our, where's our weapon? Here it is. So, sca scanning Eridanos for evidence. To catch Helsin's killer, you'll need to use the discrepancy amplifier to scope, uh, uh, scope to reveal clues not visible to the naked eye. Once you've located the evidence, aim directly at it and, uh, while zooming in with the scope and the pr and press the but uh, the interact button to analyze it. Okay. Wow, this thing is huge. So... Ah, there's the evidence. Analyze. The discrepancy amplifier is now operational. Reading designated inspector and or unauthorized arsonist. This unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. On the scheduled expiration of... Begin amplification. Uh... Let's smack it around a little. You'll speak when you're spoken to. Please do not talk the discrepancy amplifier. <laughs> oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. Please do not interrupt the discrepancy amplifier. <laughs> the discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. That'll be me. Curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you. Well, that's cool. Uh, then let's get started. Tell me about, uh, this discrepancy you found. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. So, he just implied that there could be more than one killer. Discrepancy amplifier. Does that match anything on the record? Let's taste the dirt. <laughs> Communing with nature in your own distinct way. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is why I gotta have Vicar Max with me, dude, with this playthrough. He makes the most snarky remarks in the world man i love it discrepancy amplifier do the size of these footprints match anything you have on record footprint is a tailor made 8.75 <clears throat> suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size it is also the exact size that halcyon helen typically prefers there are traces of dirt throughout the footprint can you analyze the dirt the dirt carries traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards, located not far from the Grand Colonio. Well, I'm stumped. <laughs> the orchards, Captain. She was in the purpleberry orchards. <laughs> of ears. Sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. You know... For... For her to be the constable, you would think... Especially her, seeing as she designed this inspector thing tool... You would think that them working together would have found those footsteps in like 10 seconds. But that's that's just me. Okay, let me see here. There's nothing here. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like the floor please. No one was murdered. I kind of want to inspect the body. Not really inspect it, but like on my own, not with the tool. You're, uh, really digging around Helen's body for clues, huh? Yep. 
Oh, analyze. This is a bottle of unreleased Rizzo's product. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something as she expired, but all she managed was a sticky B. Uh, I figured it out. She wanted some borst. <laughs> Likelihood of Helen using her final moment to spell the first letter of the food she was craving, 0.0002%. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> well, if you're so smart, what do you think it means? Now simulating conjecture in hypothesis module. Hypothesis. This letter indicates the name of Helen's assailant. Hmm. It's, I mean, it's possible, but we haven't met someone with a B yet. Oh, Black Hole Bernie stays here. I was wondering about that. Before we arrived, I heard something on the Aether Waves about Black Hole Bernie taken up at the Grand Colonial. Correct. Bertie Black Hole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Black Hole Holcomb? Is it? Isn't Holcomb Felix's last name? I'm not I'm not sure about that, but I, I could have sworn that was the case. Uh, anybody I should uh, anyone else I should know about? Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs: Bertie, comma Black Hole, Burbage three thousand one. Okay, make a note of this uh, for later, Mr. Amplifier. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved compliment. Splendid work, Inspector. I like that it tells you when there's a clue nearby. Uh, don't patronize me. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around. You never know what else we're gonna find. This place is very high class, isn't it? Man, I wish I could get in. It's locked anyways, but... So I went back and played... The uh, Peril on Gorgon DLC with my main character. And oh my god, dude. I found so many like unique weapons and armor and stuff. Just by unlocking things, dude. So I'm certain I'm going to miss a lot of things here in this playthrough. But it's fine. I already got the main things I want anyways. So there's that. Uh, transition to Eridanos. No, not yet. First, we got to go get our room. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. I knew I should have gotten her autograph. Can I go through here at all? Look at these people. So it requires employee. Corpse. Bunch of parasites. No, nope, I mean I don't disagree with you, Felix. I don't disagree with you at all. Uh level A to unlock. Welcome to the Grand Colonial. Let's see what's over here. With Ooh, vending machines. I don't think I need any of this though. 35 That's pretty good. I don't think I need any anything else though. To be honest, I just want to look around. You never know what we're going to find here. Nothing here. That's level 24. This was level 22, so it's less spectacular. Okay, good to know. Well, these guys don't have any armor whatsoever. All right, let me see here. What should we put? I kind of want to put it into science. Oh, wait. So science is full. Nice. What should I put this on? Well, I mean, I could spend the last few on two-handed. I am. <clears throat> I want to be as powerful as humanly possible. Alright, so what should we get here? More carry weight. Might be beneficial. But the question is, should I go for... The companions one? I think I'm going to go with the hundred. Only because A, it gives me more carry weight. Because I think this is 40 for each. So with both companions, it'll be 80. This will be 100. Plus, it'll benefit me whenever I'm riding solo anyway. So let's go ahead and just apply this one. 
Yeah, okay, let's go. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... I literally am not gonna worry about the companions. I'm here just to hear their dialogue, that's it. Or they're here just to hear their dialogue, that's it. She looks angry. You alright there, sweetie? You look the mad. The colonial <laughs> front desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? See, I called her sweetie because she did not look sweet at all. She, uh, to be honest, right now she looks... She, she's actually making me uncomfortable. She looks scary. <laughs> uh... So, I wanted to check if my room was ready. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. Nice. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Nice. I haven't had a hotel room living quarter since New Vegas. So the Grand Colonial sure is interesting. It certainly is a marvel of modern ingenuity, luxury, and ambition. Please allow me to answer any curiosities you might have about our building and the amenities on offer. Yes, please. So what does this penthouse offer exactly? Twice the size of the next biggest room, and kitted out with any amenity you want, as well as many that you won't. Best to enjoy it while you can, Inspector. Typically, the only people who can afford the penthouse suite have enough bits to suffocate everyone on Terra 2. Also, please inform me if Woolridge gives you a hard time about getting a better room than his. Don't tell him I said this, but everyone on staff wants to strangle him. Uh, why? That, uh, I wish... I wish I could ask about that. That's an interesting thing to say. Uh, well... Let's move on to the next question then, I suppose. Is there anything special about the upper flo uh, upper levels? Most certainly. All the important folks can be found in the utmost parts of the hotel. You can hardly walk three feet without bumping into a tossball grate or a board exec. Though maybe don't bump into them. Could be harmful to your health. No one seems to talk much uh, about the lower levels of the hotel. Why is that? Who would be interested in a staff-only area? Most folks never ask about the sewers beneath the Rizzo's plant, either. Yeah, touche. Touche. That's fair, I think. Uh... No... Let me see here. Uh, you can't honestly tell me there's nothing of interest in the entire... In an entire half of the hotel. Of interest to your investigation? Well... I suppose there is that one door we're not supposed to open. Ah, I'm there we sorry, go. Sorry, Inspector, I'm not authorized to grant you access to any staff sections of the hotel. You'll have Why? to find a way in on your own. Well, that's going to be hard to do, seeing as my character is pretty dumb. But that's a pretty interesting thing. If I'm here to investigate, it is very much possible or a possibility that it was an inside job in terms of the hotel. But I don't know. Well, that's enough about the hotel. If you're sure. I... I mean, I am sure. You've got some high-profile guests here, right? What can you tell me about them? My apologies, Inspector, but that would be a severe violation of guest privacy. We here at the Grand Colonial firmly believe that... All right, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't understand the importance of gossip. About whom? And what would you wish to know? Ah, there we go. Where's Black Hole? I uh, heard Black Hole Bernie was staying here. What do you know about this di the, about this guy? Ah, uh, Bernie. Is he bigger than he is dumb, or dumber than he is big? Is he dumber I than me? With a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. Bernie used to be Helen's beau, though he isn't anymore, and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I'd spend every one just to learn what caused their split. Hmm. Interesting. He's definitely prime suspect. So in the intro video, when uh, like in the drama, the Aether Wave drama, it, it kind of appeared like she knew 
this person because she kind of recognized him, right? Or, or her, it could be a her as well. But she said, you, and then she died, right? So, and she let basically got defenseless a little bit for a short amount of time, long enough for her to get murdered. So the question I have is, did she know this person? Because very possible. And not to mention she put a B and it comes to find out that she, her and uh, Birdie really did know each other. So I, in my opinion, he's prime suspect, although all of that circumstantial. So I don't know quite yet. Uh, but he's my prime suspect. So, did you notice anything about Helsi, uh, Helsi on Helen, uh, before she died? You know, out of everyone here, I probably knew the least about Helen. I'm not much of an Aether Wave watcher myself. And Helen always had a crowd of admirers chasing her, you see? So she rarely stopped to chat. Friendly enough, surely, but always seemed untouchable. Emphasis on seemed. Yeah, you don't say. Seen as she got touched, so to speak, in the uh, other room. Uh, did you ever see Helen's uh, Helen acting strangely then? Hmm. Now that you mention it, she was usually calm and collected, but every so often I'd see her looking all wild-eyed and intense. It seemed as if she was determined about something. Or maybe she was just hungry. That woman ordered a lot of food. Maybe show business gives you a faster metabolism. Or maybe she was on something. I don't know. So, Helen's co-star, Woolridge. Uh, he have any reason to want her dead at all? If looks could kill, he'd have put her in the ground ten times over. Man's clearly jealous of her success compared to his. See, I'd bet we're the only Motive. people thinking about him in all of Eridanos. And I only am because you mentioned his name. If you leave woolly cow milk out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out, they begin to get stale, then rot. Woolridge is on his way to the trash bin, and everyone knows it. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would be checking out soon, judging by his increasing demands for a room upgrade. Huh. So that, that's... He's definitely a suspect, but I still... As of now, at least, am leaning towards Birdie. But Woolridge definitely has motive, right? We don't have a motive with uh, Birdie yet. We just know some very basic things, like she recognized him uh, at the time of her death. On top of that, uh, she put a B upon her death on the floor with her own blood. Or maybe it was the, the alcohol. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm going to assume it's the blood. So I'm leaning more towards Birdie as a prime suspect, but Woolridge is definitely up there as a suspect for sure. But that's enough, uh, uh, Miss Helston. That's a shame, Inspector. What if I wanted to know a little about you? Um, my feet hurt. <laughs> you know, I feel like I just learned a whole lot about you anyway. You did. <laughs> well, bye. She, I, I, I'm not so sure about her. She seems sweet. But it kind of feels like she might be hiding something. I don't know. I'm very suspicious of everyone right now. Call it elevator. Oh no! Don't worry, lady. I'll get you out of there. Uh yes, bring me to the penthouse suite. I want to, yeah, I want to look at my, uh, my room. Cool. Hey. Hey, all my companions are here. Nioka, Parvati, there goes Sam right here. Oh, there goes Ellie. Where's Vicar? Oh, there goes Felix. That's cool. It's still unique. I don't think that's unique. I think that's just a typical thing. What does this say? Notice of unlawful equipment. This notice is attached to an object peripheral personal belonging uh, that exceeds 
or otherwise violates hotel regulations. Leave this object on the hotel premises. Uh, leaving this object on the hotel premises will, will result in... Uh, hold on, I just lost my place. What just happened? Will result in a 500 uh, bit fee per day of unlawful so uh, storage. At your earliest convenience, please remove this object, peripheral, personal belonging, and pay uh, any out outstanding fees. Is the workbench not allowed here? Too bad, so sad. That thing really does suck. So what level is this? Level 28. I want that thing stronger. I really do. Okay then. I still want to know where Vicar is. Oh, there he is. Looks interesting out there, Vicar. This room is gorgeous. Can you imagine staying here? Living here would be a possibility. What happened here? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Let me listen to this first. Where did we go wrong? Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. That didn't mean for... <laughs> Helen, I love you. I love you so much. Yeah, that just... That just amplifies my suspicion for him. But, to be fair... We still don't know. That's still circumstantial. We need some hard evidence. Something that ties him to the crime scene. The imprint left inside this suitcase matches the silhouette of Halcyon Helen's iconic handgun, the Needler. The weapon was recently removed. Ooh. Does that mean we're going to have access to it? I'm over here taking evidence. I wonder... Where the next part is. So this is her hair. So wait, hold on. Is this Birdie's? Or Helsin, uh, Helsey on Helen's? room. I'm not sure. I don't think there's any more. Let me see here. Personal turn. No. Yeah. Okay. So this is Bellamy. Messages. Uh, Administrator Ludovico. Grateful. Yeah. This is Helen's. Miss Halcyon Helen. Thank you for choosing Eridano's atmosphere complex as the site for your next publicity and marketing campaign by endorsing the spectrum brown product you are allying yourself with a revolution in the uh, leisure beverage market indeed in the culture of house Halcy of halcyon itself we're going to change the world together sincerely sincerely quentin ludovico profitability uh Track down the profit of prof profitability. So this is a a side quest, maybe? I don't know. Helen, I don't understand why you and I must be enemies. Oh, this is by uh, from Ruth uh, to... Okay. Let me see. I don't understand why you and I must be enemies. We are not both branches of the same tree of privilege. You command audiences with your mastery, uh, masterly performances on the Aetherwave, uh, wave, and I command the attention of our corporate leaders. We're both cultural icons with a responsibility to set a good example. I mean, that's, that's fair. I'm disappointed to discover uh, you've berated my seminars publicly, and on an official record, I take particular umbrage in your characterization of my most recent seminar, spearheading your project, How to Motivate Your Workforce Using Ancient Weaponry. That is such a weird topic to discuss, but okay, 
Let me see. Uh, as a, and I quote, nonsensical v uh, vanity project from a dyed-in-the-wool buffoon. Wow. But I mean, I mean, that's kind of a fair criticism, seeing as the name is how uh, uh, spearheading your project, how to motivate your workforce using ancient weaponry. That's just okay. Uh, these are fighting words. Expect to hear from my personal auditors soon. Sincerely, Profitability P.O. Uh, money can't buy happiness and other lies we tell ourselves. Oh my God. A new seminar by the profit of prof uh, Profitability coming soon. <clears throat> McKinnon, you're a talented actor. I've enjoyed all your roles across the years. I'm especially fond of your performance in Terror on Monarch. Ludovico doesn't appreciate the serials. Maybe that's why he never knows when he's being played. He still thinks you're here to endorse Spectrum Brown. Wait, what? So she's here for something else? Your performance has fooled him. Has him fooled. I have a feeling I know what you're up to. It's always a little disappointing when the audience is a few steps ahead of the plot. Best Cedric. Okay, that is a very interesting development. In light of recent unfortunate events regarding the passing of our beloved cultural icon, we at the Grand Colonial have doubled the number of armed guards for only a small security, uh, security surcharge. Wow. I, I'm speechless. Like, I, it's not... It, how should I put this? It's not surprising that they're charging people for their secure for to be secure in a sense. It, so it's not surprising because of how these corporations work in this universe, but it still leaves me speechless. Uh, surcharge non-refundable. The Grand Colonial is not responsible. Ugh, sorry, I'm I'm yawning. Reading, for some reason, makes me yawn a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, responsible for death or dismemberment that occurs off hotel grounds. Wow. Definitely speechless. Anything else here? Anything at all. What is with this gigantic crack on the floor? Nothing? Aw, oh, man. Yeah, there's nothing else. Alright, let's go. Putting this back on. Oh, wait, there's another terminal over here. What is this? Was different contact? Administrator Ludovico. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. So let me see. I still don't understand why you hired me. Oh, Ruth Bellamy was her real name. You mean Ruth Bellamy, right? Halcyon Helen is just a character she played. Halcyon Helen was more than a character. She was a brand. Her death will now be associated with Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. You understand why that worries me. Uh, I mean, I get it. I This, I understand. Uh, they still have... A business to run you know what I mean but he sounds so unsympathetic at the fact that she's dead that kind of I mean it, it doesn't mean it doesn't in itself make me suspicious of him because that's just how these corporations are in this universe right but I can understand why he from a business perspective how he could be worried uh, god this that's horrible it's true sad to say but it's a horrible thing to say uh just turn this into an ad no it's hard stoppingly good <laughs> that is so horrible i get it uh you don't want to be responsible for a drink that kills people i do not spacer's choice as that market cornered back to the matter <laughs> at hand tell me about your investigation 
So, there was definitely a body. Also, I think I stepped in something purple. <laughs> oh my god, these dumb dialogue speech checks are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Ah, I see. That's truly special. I'm going to have a word with Maria about your qualifications. <laughs> Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. Um... So he locks the doors the moment an investigator arrives. Is that is that what I'm getting out of this? Because uh, that's not suspicious at all. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport is Cedric's purview, not mine. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. God, everybody's suspicious to an extent. I'm still... My prime suspect, though, is still Birdie. It's just everything, all the evidence so far, although some circumstantial, it's all pointing towards him so far. I'll be I'll be back. So where where do we go now? We're going to Purpleberry Orchards. Let's see the map. Well, it's a great map. Why is it so blurry? That was weird. Wow, this thing is super blurry. Let's take, it took forever to load. All right, so we're going in this direction first. Cool, let's go. 